Hi everyone, this is Asad and today I'll show you how you can code this CAPTCHA security using PHP. So let's get started. I'm using Sublime Text Editor 3, so you can use whichever you like. Uh, this is uh, my current code. I'm going to remove this code. I'm going to do it from the scratch. I'm also going to re remove this code. All right, so let me duplicate this tab because I don't want to lose this. Duplicate, refresh, and we are good to go. Nothing, there's nothing to display. Okay, on captcha.php, first of all, I have to start the PHP body and then I have to specify the content type because uh, captcha.php will be used to serve the JPEG image. I'm going to type header, then content type. It's going to be an image, and the image type will be JPEG. Perfect. So, next, I'm going to declare a few variables. The first variable is going to be width, and width will be 150, and the height will be. By the way, you don't need to append px because uh, it won't work 50 the height will be 50 pixels whereas the width will be uh, 150 pixels I'm talking about the actual image okay image create the first parameter will be width and the second parameter will be height so this function will return me an image of this size of these dimensions so I'm gonna save whatever it's gonna return in my variable and the variable name is gonna be image on the next line I'm gonna specify the background color for this I'm gonna use image color allocate I'm gonna pass image as a parameter and next I have to give it color codes R G B so even you can use RGB values or you can use hexadecimal color code so if you don't have any idea about RGB or different type of color codes so you can go to W3 schools color picker so let me show you W3 schools color picker color picker uh, there it is you can see these are hexadecimal values and uh, this is these are RGB values 2550 currently it's a red color and the code for red color is double F double zero double zero and its uh, respective RGB value is 25500 so you can uh, you can learn all about different type of color codes right here but it's not mandatory so whenever you require any type of color code you can just go here and pick the best suits you for example if I need this green color and the here it's a color code the hexadecimal value all right so I'm gonna close this let's go back and I'm gonna type 215 215 215 215 215 215 means light gray color I'm gonna call this same function once again and this time I'm gonna use it to specify the foreground color so you can easily get confused over here why because uh, on line number 9 I just called this function to specify the background color and now I'm calling again this function on line number 10 to specify the foreground color so how this function will differentiate the background color with the foreground color the font color so the answer to this question is very simple the first time you'll call this function it will automatically specify the background color whereas on the next call it will specify the foreground color okay so I'm gonna save this value in some variable so the variable name is gonna be color and for my font color I'm gonna use some different value just to make my font 
appeared clearly so let's choose zero 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 which is black zero zero and zero it's a black color so now it's time to put the specific text on our image so I'm gonna call a function which is image TTF text it expects a lot of parameters it's a little confusing but don't worry you will learn it with the passage of time with some practice the first parameter is gonna be image the second parameter is gonna be image size so let me define a variable for image size for font size I'm sorry size uh, let me name it font size font size let's say 30 pixels font size the next parameter is uh, basically controls the angle the geometrical angle I'll show you that as well the next parameter is X and the next one is Y the X chord in the X parameter controls the positioning from the left and right side of the font whereas the Y coordinate the Y parameter controls the positioning from the top and bottom this will give you the control to put text wherever you want on an image so I'm gonna use some value uh, let's say 33 and on Y I'm gonna use 20 you can play with these numbers by the way so you can choose whichever best suits you it's not hard and fast rule to use 33 and 20 here okay so the next value is gonna be the font color I'm gonna copy this variable and paste it right here and the next very the next uh, argument is gonna be the font type the font style which I'm gonna choose so you can either either download the TTF font TTF font with a dot TTF extension a true type font or if you don't want to download font, uh, if you don't want to download any type of font you can go to uh, Windows control panel and then you can choose the font of your choice from there let me show you how control panel I'm on uh, Windows 7 64 bit version and uh, I'm gonna go there fonts these are the fonts which came up with the installation of Windows 7 64 version I'm gonna use uh, let's say let's give it a try this is Adobe Fan ET STDB so right click copy and now I have to paste it in my project directory but I don't want to paste it because I already have few fonts copied these one these are the three files so I'm gonna use any one of them so the font name is going to be let me copy the name rename it's brlnsp.ttf copy I have specified the font family and then the actual text which will be displayed on the image so for now I'm gonna I'm gonna hard code some text one two three four five that's it so now I have to finally create the image image JPEG so I'm gonna pass a parameter which will be image save it let's go back to our uh, index.php file I'm gonna generate some HTML uh, HTML and I need an image tag obviously because I have to output the actual image captcha.php save it let's go back to the browser if I refresh the page it's not working why I don't know why let's fix this tch capture dot php color brl nsp dot ttf perfect one to three for five color font size everything looks perfect here 
एच ई आई जी एच टी हाइट विथ विथ आई मिस पेल्ड द विथ लेट सेव दिस लेट्स गो बैक टू द ब्राउजर रिफ्रेश सो इट्स वर्किंग वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव नो आई हैव टू पोजिशन माई टेक्स्ट सो लेट्स गो बैक टू पोजिशन पार्ट लाइक एट सेट थर्टी थ्री दिस पार्ट कंट्रोल्स पोजिशनिंग फ्रॉम लेफ्ट एंड राइट वेर एज दिस पार्ट कंट्रोल्स पोजिशनिंग फ्रॉम टॉप एंड बॉटम सो आई वॉन्ट माई टेक्स टू बी a little bit down i have to add up some margin on the top so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use some larger values 30 let's use 35 fresh now it looks better now on the left side there there's a huge margin i'm going to remove this margin as well this i'm going to use the same margin on the right this should be matched with the left margin so for this i'm going to use some smaller value 20 refresh I think this is fine. Let's go with this. Okay, so if I refresh the page, the number doesn't change because uh, I have used a hard-coded number. It's not a randomly generated number. So let's make it randomly generated. So it's very simple. Okay, so here I'm gonna declare a variable, name it text, and empty. rand empty rand is uh, basically a php a function which will allow me to randomly generate few numbers so i'm going to define a range 1 2 3 4 5 5 and 1 2 3 4 5 why because uh, i would like to generate a number a five digit number a five digit number between 11111 and 999 by the way 11111 and 999 also included so now i have to copy this text variable and replace this string with my variable saved let's go back if i refresh the page so you can see now it's working it's successfully working so let's uh, try this part like i said uh, this part is used to control the angle geometrical angle of your text so i'm going to use some different value let's suppose 15 if i refresh the page you can see the angle has been changed so now the text has been displayed on 15 degree angle okay refresh so let me quickly complete this example now so let's go back and uh, let me put an html form over here form the method is going to be whatever i'm going to use post action i'm going to leave it blank the blank means the form will be submitted on the same url i'm going to use few paragraph tags because i would like to break uh, input tags line by line so input text the name is going to be captcha there will be a placeholder t c h a captcha let me squeeze the left panel just to add up some room on the right okay so the next i'm going to put this image you can easily get confused over here by the way because uh, it's a image tag and image tag is used to display an image but here i have specified the file name which is captcha.php so this could be confusing for you but don't worry let me explain it to you if you clearly see this file it's a captcha.php file on line number 2 i have specified the content type of this page so content type is image dash jpeg so now this file is being used to serve a jpeg image not a php file by the way it's a hybrid file as you can see i am writing the php code as well over here but it has also been served as a jpeg image all right let's save it and i have to put an put a button button as well button type will be submit and i'm going to name it button and the value will be let's say send i'm going to do the same example that i showed you in the first lesson okay so at the top i have to put some php code right now it's not functional by the way 
So I have to put some PHP code at the top. So here I have to start the session. Session start. And if statement just to make sure the form was successfully submitted or not. It's set. It's a good practice by the way. It's set dollar underscore post and button. So this check means the button was pressed to submit this form. I mean this button. As soon as this button will be pressed, this value send will be assigned to this index button. So this button, so this index will be considered a set index because a value will be assigned to it. Okay, so this check will return true and then I'm going to declare a variable tcha captcha dollar underscore session captcha the index name could be anything it's not a hard and fast rule to use captcha here it could be anything okay so now I'm gonna put another if statement because uh, I'm gonna perform a comparison over here captcha is equal equals to dollar underscore post by the way it's not a good practice I'm directly writing the post array here to compare with this value so here you need to perform some other operations as well like sanitizing and validating input for security reasons don't skip this part it's, it's very very important it will give you enough protection against SQL injection and XSS attack okay if the code successfully matched so I'm gonna show some message I'm gonna output some message matched and else this time the message will be invalid captcha code perfect so let's give it a try refresh now it looks similar to our original example okay so I'm gonna type 33805 so if I click send it will say invalid captcha code why let's check this out captcha session nothing wrong with this code session was started perfect if I go to captcha alright so here you can see I did not start the session nor I save this value in my session so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start the session here session start and then I'm gonna save this value in my session so what I'm gonna do is dollar underscore session equals to by the way this is not a hard and fast rule to write everything in a single line so first of all this uh, the extreme right section will be evaluated so whatever will be the result the randomly generated number will be assigned to the session index which is captcha and once this is done then this part will be evaluated and the value will be assigned to text you can break it up by the way okay so if I type 87946 send matched perfect if I type something else a different number it should say invalid captcha code invalid captcha code so I think this is it for this lesson don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next part